Week 1 Introduction to Research Welcome to the first session of our Research Crash Course. I'm Dr. Liam Ngo, and today, we'll dive into the basics of research. Understanding what research is and why it's important will set the foundation for everything we'll cover in this course. Let's get started. Research is a systematic investigation designed to develop or contribute to knowledge. It involves the collection, analysis, and interpretation of data to answer specific questions or solve problems. First, let's discuss why research is important. Research is vital because it allows us to discover new information, validate existing knowledge, solve problems and inform policy and practice. For example, investigating new methods of language teaching can improve student outcomes, discovering effective strategies for integrating technology into the classroom, and uncovering the cognitive processes involved in second language acquisition. Research helps confirm what we think we know, ensuring our practices are based on solid evidence. Testing the effectiveness of a widely used teaching method to ensure it truly benefits students. Evaluating the impact of formative assessments on student learning outcomes and confirming the reliability of standardized tests in measuring student proficiency are all examples of this. Additionally, research provides solutions to various challenges, helping improve outcomes in multiple fields. For instance, developing strategies to increase student engagement in online learning environments, addressing challenges related to language barriers in multicultural classrooms, and creating interventions to reduce dropout rates in higher education. Finally, research influences policies and practices, making sure they are effective and up-to-date. Researching the impact of educational technology on student performance can guide school technology policies, informing language education policies with research on bilingual education programs, and shaping teacher training programs based on research findings about effective teaching practices. As you can see, research is not just about generating new knowledge but also about applying that knowledge to real-world problems. Now, let's talk about a famous phrase you might have heard, standing on the shoulders of giants. This highlights the importance of building on the work of others. In research, we don't start from scratch. Instead, we review existing studies and use them as a foundation for our own work. This way, we leverage the collective knowledge of those who came before us pushing the boundaries of what we know even further. To illustrate this, think about some major contributions in your field. For example, in applied linguistics, research on second language acquisition has transformed how we teach languages. Educational research on formative assessment has changed the way we monitor and support student learning. Studies on the cognitive development of children have informed early childhood education practices. Discuss these examples with your peers. How have these contributions impacted your work or studies? Next, let's move on to identifying research gaps. Research gaps are areas where there is a lack of information or where current knowledge is insufficient. Identifying these gaps is crucial because it shows us where more research is needed. In small groups, choose a topic in education or applied linguistics. Discuss and identify areas where more research is needed. What questions remain unanswered? For example, you might find that while there is extensive research on language learning in adults, there is less known about language acquisition in young children. This exercise will help you see how research builds upon existing knowledge and identifies new areas to explore. After your group discussion, share your findings with the class. Once you identify a gap, the next step is to define the purpose of your research. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve with this study? 
Your purpose should be clear and specific. For example, you might want to explore effective language learning strategies for young children. Your research question is the backbone of your study. It guides your investigation and helps you stay focused. Good research questions are clear and specific, avoiding vague language. They should be researchable, ensuring you can answer them through investigation and relevant, addressing a gap or need in your field. Let's practice. Think about a topic you're interested in. Identify a gap, define the purpose of your research, and then write a research question. Here's an example to guide you. The topic is technology in language learning. The gap is limited research on the effectiveness of mobile apps for young learners. The purpose is to evaluate the effectiveness of mobile language learning apps for young children. And the research question is, how effective are mobile apps in enhancing language acquisition among preschool children? Share your research questions with the group. Discuss any challenges you faced and get feedback from your peers. To wrap up this session, we'll analyze a few sample research studies. We'll look at studies from educational psychology and linguistics to identify the gaps the researchers addressed their research purpose, and their research questions. For example, one study might explore the cognitive benefits of bilingual education in young children, identifying a gap in understanding how these benefits manifest in early childhood. Another study might investigate the impact of digital storytelling on language retention, with a purpose to evaluate its effectiveness compared to traditional methods. By analyzing these examples, you'll gain a deeper understanding of how to apply these concepts to your own work. Great job, everyone! By now, you should have a good understanding of what research is, why it's important, and how to identify gaps, define research purposes, and craft effective research questions. Keep these foundational concepts in mind as we move forward. See you next session, where we'll delve into the differences between journal articles and other types of publications. Until then, keep thinking about your research topics and refining your questions. Happy researching!